Our next inductee is Brad Cohen, teacher, assistant principal, and nonprofit organizational director, Central High Grad, 1992. Brad? Teachers, just like people in other professions, are a mixed lot of talent and personality. Some are natural born leaders. They like to shape the big picture within a school or a district, so in education, they take the path of administration. Some are more motivated and talented as instructors, preferring to challenge and coax students to give their best efforts in the classroom setting. And some are phenomenally good at both. When Brad Cohen was a student at Parkway, he was enduring the symptoms of Tourette syndrome and ensuing, ensuing social stigma of his condition. Most people would not have predicted either path as a realistic one for him, but Brad was determined. 25 potential employers turned down his application to teach after he graduated from Bradley University, but then a small district in Georgia finally saw in Brad what he always knew he had, a passion to teach. Today, not only is he an assistant principal, he is the director of a nonprofit organization. He's the founder of Camp Twitch and Shout <laughs> and a public speaker. Brad is a role model for anyone who has difficulty seeing around obstacles in their path and achieving what they truly want to do in life. Congratulations and great job, Brad. Thank you very much, Parkway Alumni Association, Mr. Meyer for nominating me. I'm honored to be here and I'm honored to be in front of so many people that care so much about Parkway School District. You see, when I grew up, I wanted to be like any other kid that was in my classroom. I wanted to be that kid that had friends. I wanted, that kid, I wanted to be that kid that teachers believed in, thought I could do well, and I wanted to be that kid that would get good grades. But my life was a little different because I grew up with Tourette's syndrome, a neurological disorder which causes me to make noises and tics I can't control. You see, at first my teachers didn't want to believe in me. They didn't want to give me a chance because I was different. They saw me as a problem child. I remember my teachers making me get up in front of class and apologizing to everybody for the noises I had to make. I remember being in classes where my teachers were kicking me out of class because they thought I was doing the hiccups on purpose. And this was all happening despite the fact that my mother was a huge advocate for me, up there almost every single day trying to tell these teachers and trying to educate them about why I was a little different and how I did have the ability to be like any other kid. I really was scared to go to middle school. I hated middle school when I was there. I mean, if you weren't the most popular or good looking or wearing the right clothes, then you were the dork or the geek. Or in my case, I was a kid in the corner that made noises. There was nothing fun about middle school at all for me. And then I remember eating lunch. I sat at that same table every single day when the bullies would parade around me and mock my very noises. They'd push me around. They'd start fights with me because they thought they could shut me up. I was like, how can I possibly be successful in life when school wasn't even a safe place for me? And then one day, one day, my principal, Mr. Meyer, came over to me and said, what do you think if we educate all the students in the school about Tourette syndrome? <laughs> Thought to myself, what's the worst thing that would happen? I would lose my friends? <laughs> well, I didn't have any friends. So Mr. Meyer and I got up in front of the entire student population and we educated them about Tourette syndrome. We told them as much as we could about it. And as I sat down, the most amazing thing happened. Everybody. Everybody in the auditorium started to clap for me. They started to clap for me and gave me a standing ovation. I thought to myself, I'm getting a standing ovation because I have Tourette's syndrome? This is weird. But I realized on that day, I realized that they just wanted to know. They just wanted to understand why I was a little different and why I was making all these noises. On that day, as I sat down, I realized the power of education. I realized what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be that teacher that I never had, that teacher that would focus on kids' strengths, not their weaknesses. That teacher would give kids pats on the back for doing good things. 
and to be that teacher that would give students those scratch and sniff stickers because that's all I ever wanted in <laughs> elementary school was to get those scratch and sniff stickers. I couldn't get them. And I knew someday I would be able to make a difference. You see, after that, after that amazing moment, I went to high school. And my experiences got so much better. Teachers started to understand me. They started to recognize me for my strengths. My self-confidence went up. My self-esteem went up. My academic grades went up. See, teachers started to believe in me for what I was in the inside and not so much what I was all about on the outside. And then I graduated. And I went to college. And I was determined to be a teacher. And like you heard, I wanted 25 different interviews. And I couldn't convince people to hire me until that last one when they saw something special. And I was hired as a second grade teacher in Atlanta, Georgia. And after my first year of teaching, I was selected as the first class teacher of the year for the state of Georgia. You see, th thank you, thank you. Wait, you see, for me, for me, it was a reminder about perseverance, to never give up, to never make excuses for challenges or weaknesses that you have in life. It's to show people that you can be successful and if you have the right people surrounding you that believe in you, like my mother, who was a huge advocate for me, or like Mr. Meyer, who believed in me and was that, that person that stepped out, he was, he was ahead of its time for believing in kids that may be a little different, but knew that they just needed an opportunity. And that's what I do. For the past 15 years, I've been an educator. I've been making a difference. I've been believing in those kids when nobody else would, because that's what it's all about. You see, like you heard from one of our speakers before, it's about passion. It's about finding what you love to do and getting out there and believing in it and doing it 100%. It's about having a positive attitude. Trust me, there are plenty of times in my life that I could have had a negative attitude, but no. I woke up the next morning, I put on a positive attitude, and I moved forward. It's about perseverance, never giving up. Never giving up and never making excuses for yourself because someone out there right next to you may have that same challenge or a challenge like you. And it's about the power of one. It's about the power of one that Dr. Burr was talking about, Parkway One. Well, you know what? I like to believe in the power of one. Everyone raise one finger up in the air. That's right, I'm a cheesy second grade teacher. It's the power of one. <laughs> that all it takes is for one person to make a difference in the life of a child. And who's that person gonna be? You see, I'm honored that I had people like Mr. Meyer that was that one person that believed in me when nobody else would. And you see, that's what I do as I move forward. I'm going to be that one person. And I challenge other people out there to be that one person to make a difference in the life of someone else. And as you heard from some of our other speakers, when you leave here tonight, I hope that you remember my story. And I hope that you remember the stories of everybody else that was up here. That you know what? Somebody believed in them. Parkway believed in them. And that's what it's all about. And I hope that each and every one of you say the same thing that my second graders do when they leave my classroom. And that is that if Mr. Cohen could do it, then so could I. Cheers, thank you all very much, I'm honored.